What's up, Rube? It's Little Big Robots uh, with a um, kind of an explainer video. Um, if you know me, you know that I've recently moved. I've been gone from video making for a couple weeks to move. I'm now here in the new condo, um, which is just a little house. I don't know what condo means, but <laughs> my wife explained it as it's like a house on property you don't own or whatever. So whatever. Anyway, we're still redoing the office, still having a lot of fun here in the absolutely gorgeous city of San Diego. Yes, California and San Diego in particular is expensive. Yes, they call it the sunshine tax, and that does it is a real thing. You're really paying for the weather, but it's it's really neat. It's really really neat. I, I'm I'm so happy we moved here. Anyway, so um, I wanted to just kind of um, talk about maybe doing some changes to my channel. Um, over the years, I've discovered that I don't really collect. I'm not a collector. Like a lot of toy channels, they are collectors. So, for example, they want to buy, um, uh, let's say, um, Acid Rain toys. They want to buy every Acid Rain toy and will go broke doing it. And then at the end of a, a, a binge on buying a bunch, we'll, you know, talk about trying to sell them all because they have no money left. I've seen it happen a million times. People go get too obsessed with collecting. I'm not a completionist in that way. I've never been a completionist in any really aspect of my life, which is, explains a lot. But to me, I'm a curator. I love curation. So if you remember, I used to write for Massively.com about MMOs back in the day. A lot of you know me from back then. And one of the popular things that got really popular that people would really give us a hard time about was called a listicle, which is basically an article that is a list, like top 10 reasons you should play so-and-so or top 10 reasons you should get a, uh, this gaming PC or whatever. And people hated those or they would talk about hating them. But they were mega popular. I adored those articles and I enjoyed, adored writing them because it makes you curate your idea. It makes you curate the collection. So the collection in that case might be MMOs in general, but it makes you go, okay, what do I like about these particular MMOs? Uh, I wrote one article that I really, really still love called uh, My Favorite Fires in MMO, meaning literally, literal like a bonfire or like a campfire fireplace. And I, I just loved the lighting of fire and a lot of like the fantasy MMOs and stuff like that. And I picked out how s different games did it. And it wasn't that I was literally talking all about the fires, but I was talking about the experience of the fire, the coziness, some of the effects the fire had, because some of them had actual effects. So I love curating my ideas. If I ever can't sleep at night, if you ever can't do sleep at night, this is my point of advice, <coughs> is... Um, curate something in your head say the top my top 10 favorite movies of all time my top five favorite albums of all time um and it's really really relaxing something about it i think because it gives you a real good sense of control in a world that is not so easy to control i don't have much stress in my life thank god but i still really enjoy the idea of curating stuff so my channel really is a curation of stuff that i find is cool you'll see if you look at back at my videos and i've done this a lot I've seen where I became less curating and more collecting. I thought, oh, I have to buy every... And so I was doing... At one point, I was doing up to, I think, three videos. Two or three videos a week. Maybe even four at some point. And it's, it wasn't that it was so expensive because I found ways around that. I mean, I can afford a good amount. I have a budget and stuff like that. So I can afford videos. Um, it's just toys. It's not collecting cars. But even then, I found that I was trying to get the latest and greatest thing and if i didn't get it i would feel a little bit stressed about it and i was like this is dumb i'm just not that that's not me i'm just myself i'm not like a scripty kind of guy um so i really want this this channel to become more of a curation of things that i think is cool i'll continue with one video a week at least possibly two um i've been doing two for a long time now um, but if you think about it, that's 104, 100 some odd videos a, a, a year. That's a, that's a lot of videos to try and come up with. I don't mind doing that, but it's just that you start to find that you're, it feels a bit jobby. This is just for fun. I, Google literally pays me about $25 a, a month for, <laughs> for my channel. That's how much I get in ad revenue. So I'm, I, even, I even thought at one point of turning off um, uh, monetization. But then that wouldn't stop the ads for you guys anyway. So I just leave it on and make my 20 bucks or whatever here and there. Anyway, so what I might do is I'm still definitely doing toys, mecha, robots. That's my favorite thing. But I might start adding in 
Um, other stuff that I just think is cool, like um, my favorite vinyl albums. I love vinyl. Like if you look at it, it's, it's a, has shares a lot in common with a robot. As far as a robot toy, you, it's a physical item um, that you physically interact with. That is physically based in the world. It's not digital. It, it when you play the music on it, it the needle physically goes into the grooves. Um, it's it has a tactile thing to it that I like about uh, mecha robots because they're a small version and there's details and little little hatches and stuff. I love that stuff. It's it is it, it really soothes my brain. So I might start doing some album stuff, uh, movies, whatever, just stuff that I want to cu curate in this collection that is my YouTube channel. Eventually, I and most of these videos already have downloaded and saved, but eventually I want to have all these. Um, in fact, I'll go through my channel and curate my favorite videos, download copies of it, make several copies. And my eventual goal, I know this sounds silly or whatever, is to, on the day that I die, have um, several, if not hundreds, of digital um, or even physic, maybe even discs of a uh, copy of my entire life, my, my curated life that I can give out to people. Um, I mean, I won't care, I'll be dead, but it'd still be kind of neat to to die knowing that maybe people will have some part of me. So that's I might start switching to doing some more of that. Um, if you have any suggestions for stuff you want me to check out, <coughs> excuse me, cool stuff, whatever, I might even do some games again, because games are always in my life, but I just don't have as much time to play them, but I just got an Xbox, so I might cover some of the, the couch fun that I have playing with friends and stuff. It brings back that old MMO feeling. Um, and so if you see some of that happening, uh, feel free to uh, skip it if you don't like that kind of thing. But I'm not skipping uh, Mecha Robots. I, that's, my, that's like my favorite thing still. Um, and you'll see that coming up all the time, of course. So anyway, thanks for subscribing and sticking around uh, through the break. Um, keep hollering with your comments on my old videos. I love uh, discussing robots and Mecha and stuff with all you guys and gals and others. And uh, I'll see you whenever I see you, okay? So take it easy. Bye-bye.